everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. And those failures can be gut-wrenching, and they can seem real bad. But they seem like missing that one key Mario long jump right at the end of level 8-1. And then right after that, really quickly it turns in, okay, what did we just learn from that? You know, what should we try differently for next time? And this concept of life communication is more than just have a positive attitude or never give up. Because those imply you have to fight against your true desire to quit. And I feel like when you frame a challenge or a learning process in the way, in this way, you actually want to do it. It feels, it feels natural to ignore the failure and try again. In the same way a toddler will want to keep trying to stand up, or in the same way you want to keep playing Super Mario Brothers, or in the same way half the people who attempted my coding puzzle had a desire to stick with it two and a half times longer. The framing of their failures made it so they wanted to keep trying and learning. And that's exactly...